Breaking news, unbelievable. Adam Sochomole <laughs> picks on Peter Obi. I'm telling you, Peter Obi's new, you know, the way he's been accepted and all that has been going on in the country is sending shock and fear wave across the spine of some political, you know, uh, members in the country who want particular um, candidates to win because that person's win remains. They are coming out of a political oblivion. And so Peter will be shining. It's affecting their shine. You know, when you're shine, they affect another man's shine. Ah, ah, problem. So these are part of some of the things that are going on and you cannot begin to imagine. Yes, so my wonderful people, Adam Sushomole, where's in? St. Peter will be, oh, eh? We don't understand. How is it that? Let's get all the details. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. It's happening, my wonderful people. 2023, Adam Sochomole, drum bomb chair on Peter Obi, exposes what he thinks cannot make Peter Obi a good president. Former governor of Edo State and ex-national chairman of the All Progressive Congress, APC, Comrade Adam Sochomole, has accused the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Peter Obi, of failing to curb security in Anambra State while he was the governor, telling Nigerians that he cannot also curb security in Nigeria. He said, pay attention to the news and check it out very carefully. Was, uh, was Peter Obi able to curb security while he was the governor of Anambra State? Go and investigate, come back and give me a reply, Adam Sushomole has said. Sushomole made this known while speaking during the youth conference of the All Progressive Congress APC at the International Conference Center in Abuja. He said, for those of you who are social media warriors, there are issues here that you should need, that you need to speak to your Google and look at the first six months of uh, of governor of the governor's administration in a boy state in anambra state i beg your pardon when you what you will find on youtube is that the governor demolished he was demolishing houses of kidnappers and those who were who were then referred to as the basaki boys and the ba, bakasi girls that was what the governor was doing. Who was the governor when Bakasi developed and who solved the problem? So, if a man could not solve a security challenge in his own state, which require courage, how can he convince you that he will solve security challenge all over Nigeria? Don't take it, don't take it from me. Go to YouTube and find the first six months of his administration and see what happened. Who was his predecessor? It will tell you it was Peter Obi. Peter Obi is not a man you can trust, Adam Obi has said. The youths that are following him should go back and ask him serious questions. If he has answered those questions, come back and tell me. I have a man you can trust who has been tested and trusted. Yes, he has been tested and trusted. Adam Sushomole is the man for you. Now, if you know Adam Sushomole very well, there is one gift this man has. Adam Sushomole has one gift, and that is the gift of selling a candidate. He sold um, Ize Yamu, and you saw the result of selling a man. Oh, yes, he sold Ize Yamu in no small way. He sold Ize Yamu, telling Edo State and the people that Ize Yamu was the next best thing to the invention of sliced bread. He sold the man in no small way, telling, ah, Ize Yamu, ah, he's the best thing, oh. And what did he gain from everything? Can you see exactly what is happening? Everybody, every one of us are watching. Every one of us can see. Every one of us can see how these things are playing out. Remember that if you keep quiet and we allow these things to happen, it's going to continue and you'll be sorry for what will come out of it. Because the days upon us and all that is happening are clear indications that a man who have no idea of... <laughs> Well, how was he as the governor of a Boeing state? Of um, why do I keep saying a Boeing state? Because uh, David Dumai stopped 
you know, the rally, and it's still very painful what he did. Very shameful, honestly. So, my wonderful people, this is what is happening. Adam Soshomole is selling Peter Obi. Because he's selling Peter Obi, we means that he will also get um, some benefits. And so, this is what he wants. If Peter Obi, if he can successfully sell Peter Obi, you know, and um, Nigerians can buy into that very picture and get it. Okay? And, keep, and get it, then that's it. You know, if you can successfully sell, you know, uh, 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 Tinubu, because Tinubu is his man. Don't get it twisted. Tinubu is his man. So he cannot understand why Nigerians are following, you know, Peter Obi. And that's why he's bringing up that uh, Peter Obi could not maintain or look after security in his state. He said, you know, you saw him bringing about the Sakaba, you know, and all that happened. At that point in time, he said Peter Obi could not solve it then. He cannot solve it now. Uh, that uh, uh, Tinubu is the man that, you know, Nigerians have to follow him because he knows what he's saying. Tinubu is the man for Nigerians and what have you. Again, at the end of the day, every one of us will be able to, you know, look at everything all together and be able to look at it and say, okay, uh, okay this is the man. This is who we want. You know, he will keep telling us what he think would be best for us. But you and I are the ones to make that decision. Uh, we cannot, uh, we cannot, we cannot allow the person, anybody make that decision for us. Because the days upon us are days where politicians, we continue to tell you why they deserve and why they should get certain position. Okay, but that's politicians for you. At the end of the day, do we see them shining through on their promises? Do they keep their promises? Are they honest with their promises or they are just... So we need... That is a part of the things we need to really consider. Adam Soshomole is somebody that, in fact, the governor, the now governor of Edo State, who is serving out his second tenure, and him, they had a serious long battle. It was not a small battle at all. The battle was so fierce. It was so serious. You know, at the end of the day, Godwin Obaseki won. Adam Soshomole has not given up. He has gone on now. He has gone to pick sanitaria form for one of the sanitaria districts in his state. But how is that going down? Now he wants to sell Tinubu. We'll see. Please leave us a comment. Don't forget to like us, share, subscribe, click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless. Have a lovely and a fantastic day. Bye for now.